Good afternoon. I'm Darrell Elliott Green. 15 years ago, I was a constable in the Queensland Police, and I'm now a senior sergeant in the Queensland Police. Those 15 years ago, I was on night work. I had a, a job to attend, and it was a routine job, threats against the person. I arrive at the address, finds out some basic information. I'm sat in the patrol car. I hear pat, pat, pat come from the left side of me. I turn and I look. I'm facing a .22 caliber rifle. Bang! Just been shot in the face. True story. I'm going to share with you today a very powerful lesson on communication that I have learnt from that event and the journey I had afterwards. Who here has been to a family barbecue or a work meeting or and found, oh, there's somebody there and they've got wearing an eye patch or they're missing a hand or they're terribly burned. You got that uncomfortable feeling in the stomach. Ooh, I don't want to talk about that. We'll stay away from that. Away from that. I might even avoid that person. How would you like to have a tool and some knowledge so you can have a conversation with that person and not have that feeling and that not be an issue? Nice to everybody. Now you might be thinking, well, Daryl, you're a police officer and you come across these people all the time. So it's quite natural for you to have these conversations. If you come at this with an open mind, I think that you will actually find very applicable to your professional relationships and your personal relationships where you'll have the opportunity to apply this tool. 12 months after the shooting, I was still going through op operations and I flew to the UK to see my brother and his family. I'm missing three teeth and I'm waiting for a part of the, my face uh, to heal. My brother invites me to his father-in-law's place for a big family function. And I know all these people. I was my brother's best man. I'm over there each year skiing. So it was just sort of another yearly trip for me. So we arrive at the big house, and it's a large family that Louisa has. And I'm greeted with wine, some cheese, and we sit down for a large family meal, and we talked about sport, we talked about travel, we talked about history. What was the one thing that nobody spoke about? Accident. Precisely. I'm there at the dinner table and I could feel the tension in my body get tighter and tighter as all my muscles got tighter. My ears are pricked up. When is somebody going to mention it? And then my father and my brother's father-in-law, Tim, said, oh, what's the scenery like at that location? I heard something else and I blurted it out. I shouted, what's it like to be shot? <laughs> the whole table went quiet and tits, no, 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 no. What's the scenery like? So what have they done in that scenario? They've turned it into the 800 pound gorilla in the room by not mentioning it. So my lesson today is to teach you how to have a courageous conversation three simple components. The first component, pick the time and place. If Tim had just, on arrival, greeted me with some cheese and some wine, and we were alone and said, oh, Daryl, I see you're missing a couple of teeth. Ask me about it. He could have started the conversation, see how comfortable I was. And that leads to the second part, which is the calibration. How comfortable was I talking about the event by monitoring me? And by doing that, that would enable him and the rest of the family to move to the third part of the campaign where it just becomes A-OK -okay to speak about the shooting. It's just a, a normal event, not a nice event, but it is an part, important part of my life. Like, you know, somebody has a new baby, there's lots of disruptions, they'll talk about that, they could have talked about the shooting. 